Tensions continue to rise in Russia's war against Ukraine in response to the bombing of a Russian bridge. The Kremlin had launched missile strikes across Ukraine. Here's ABC's Justin Finch. Across Ukraine, a series of withering missile strikes launched by Russian troops ripping through civilian centers and vital infrastructure during the morning rush hour. This video showing a blast in Ukraine's capital city, Kyiv. In that same city, this playground ravaged. Rescuers searching ruins for survivors as parts of Ukraine are now left without power. Officials in Ukraine say Russia's latest attack has left several dead and dozens injured. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky calling Russian forces terrorists and urging Ukrainians to take shelter as his troops continue their counteroffensive against Russia. Speaking Monday, Russian leader Vladimir Putin confirming the missile strikes were in retaliation for the Saturday bombing of a bridge connecting Russia to the illegally annexed Crimean Peninsula. These before and after satellite images revealing the destruction. Ukraine has not claimed responsibility for that attack. Russia's latest aggression follows Ukraine's successes, retaking territory in the south and east. And President Biden last week cautioning Putin isn't joking when he threatens to use tactical nuclear weapons, saying we have not faced the prospect of Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. The White House pointing out there's no new intelligence suggesting Moscow is planning an imminent nuclear attack. What the president was reflecting was that the stakes are high right now, given what, what's going on on the battlefield in Ukraine and given the very irresponsible and reckless comments made by Vladimir Putin. In his remarks today, President Putin acknowledged he called for those multiple strikes in Ukraine, which also hit several civilian centers, which critics also say could be an admission of war crimes. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.